Hello, welcome again to Valtra Unlimited Studio. Today we have here this fantastic T155 uh, Direct, um, and this is the new fifth generation. And this tractor is actually fitted with an SKF automatic lubrification system. And today I'm joined by Yusuf from SKF. And first of all, could you tell me a little bit about how it works and what what, what is the lubrification system? Yes, Sam. First of all, this tractor with the loader has 56 lubrication points it's quite a lot. in the system. It's a lot of a lot of greasing. Yeah, it is <laughs> if you don't have the central lubrication okay, system. Okay, and uh, how, what does it do? Well, shall we go into the cabin and take yeah. a look? Let's go. All right, so now we're here. I can see we have the pump on this side. Tell me about it. Well, the pump is the heart of the lubrication system. Okay. It creates the pressure needed for the lubrication lines so yep. that the grease moves through the lines. Makes sense. And it also works as the grease reservoir. You can see the grease there. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's full of the grease and then it, then it doesn't run out straight away, I see. Exactly. And for the driver, it's easy to observe when the grease yep. has run out. That's, yeah, that makes sense. I can see it right from here. Yeah. Very good. Very good. And another thing. What is in the pump is the control unit. You can see it up top there. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah where the, the numbers are, yeah. And that is responsible for the correct lubricator intervals. Okay. So that tells when to lubricate. So and that's, when that's to rest. the time running down now. So what? That's the time to our next grease. Exactly. So in about 33 minutes, there will be another greasing cycle. Much more efficient than me. <laughs> <laughs> and also, one thing related to that is that because it works automatically, you can set it up to work quite frequently. So the lubrication event happens more frequently than you could ever do okay. with the manual pump. I like it, I like it. And how does it make sure that the grease goes to the right grease nipples? So it goes down lines, but is there some kind of system which sends it to the right places or...? Yeah, there are so-called dividers there, Okay. Uh, where the grease goes first and the divider then divides it to the different lubrication points so yep. that every one of them gets the optimal dose. Okay, very good system. Now, so... Valtzers go everywhere, right? Forest, field, everywhere. It's a tough life for a tractor. How can we be sure that the lubrification system and the lines and everything will survive that kind of life? Well, the system is engineered and installed, taking into account the various working movements yep. of the tractor to ensure that no line gets stuck anywhere. Yep. And also, all the components of the system are designed for heavy use and heavy conditions. Is this kind of thing used in other industries as well, which we could compare to agriculture, for example? Yes, yes. Uh, for example, system is used in uh, excavators and wheel loaders in construction okay. or mining. Heavy use kind of kind of work. Exactly. And you mentioned forest. Uh, the forestry harvesters, a lot of them, most of them actually have a lubrication system okay. as well. Good stuff. All right, so we've found out it's much more reliable than me, but what other advantages does the greasing system bring? The customer? Well, it's an automatic system which lubricates during the machine operation. Okay. And that means that the lubricant goes in when the parts are moving. Yeah. And why that is good is that the grease goes into the lubricated surfaces much better. Ah, yeah. So as it's moving, the grease goes in, it gets all around the parts. That's correct. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Also, as we said, it's more frequent lubrication yeah. than manual, uh, meaning that there's always optimal amount of grease yeah. into the parts. That also means that uh, the grease lubricates, but it helps to keep contamination yeah, out. So basically there's something in there, in the gap, so nothing can get in. Exactly. The okay. grease pushes the dirt out. All right. And then I guess there's also the side that I hate going in front of a tractor with the grease gun or climbing yeah. up onto it. So I guess it also means that you don't have to climb on the machine and it's much yeah. easier in that respect. It's easier, it's safer too. Yeah. So basically we're uh, more reliable than a mechanical grease gun. Um, it's also in reducing service costs because everything is greased correctly and at the right time. Yep. And then it's also reducing basically workload so it's making life easier. That's correct. All right, sounds like a fantastic system. Thank you very much for explaining this to us. Thank you. All right.